Another little activity I've got for you this week is on the classroom, Google Classroom Science, there's a link for three fours to this clown. So the idea with this is to color in the clown. We might do a big cutout around the clown, glue that bit onto a bit of cardboard like a cereal box, uh, then cut carefully around so that it's got some cardboard to make it a little bit stiffer. Where those circles are on the back can put some little weights. We'll try some different things. I'm thinking maybe some coins, maybe some five cent coins might work well, but we'll just see how we go. Righto, let's go. So the next thing to do is cut around the clown. This can be just roughly around the outside. And then... Our cornflakes box will come in handy again. And we'll glue him onto the cornflakes box. Just going to use a glue stick this time. Plenty of glue, particularly where you can see the clown's shape on the other side. Now we'll just go to a corner and glue that down, smooth it out, nice and tight. And the good thing about this glue is once you've glued it, it's ready for cutting again. So then I would cut out around the I'm going to cut out around the cardboard like this, just to get the size down. And then we're left with that shape. Do one more check that the glue has stuck nicely. So now the job is, and if this is find this too difficult, you might need to ask for some parent help. But just carefully, don't go don't go into those bits yet. Just carefully go down around the edges where you can see. Just take your time. Don't have to rush. And look even in the hands. It doesn't matter if the hands. You don't go in and all around all those bits there. But depending on you, you might like to. Now for me, you see, I'm just going to go in and cut to that point. Then I'll come back later. And I might even come in from this side. Cut that point out. Do little bits sometimes. Sometimes little bits is better than big bits altogether. So my little tip with cutting out is you don't have to do it all in one go. You can sort of go to different bits. And if you get stuck, say, oh, I'm going to get around this corner. I'm going to have to bend it to Stop. And just come back out again. And go in, go to there. And then see what you can do from there. So, this is where the coins have to go here, but they need to go on the other side. You could put them on that side, that's okay. But I've just got a bit of blue tack, as you can see, I'm going to tack it on to one coin there. Put it there, and the other one working. I'm going to put a finger here. So, I'm going to try a 10 cent coin. So that's getting there to what we're really after. It's a little bit outweighing. I have to be careful of that. Well, that's working a bit better now. I wonder if we did a 10 cent on the back and a five cent on the front. Aha, that's very good. So, introducing the clown of the year who balances on a knife's edge is Mr. Red Star with blue stripes and also spins at the same time. Balancing on a knife's edge is the Red Star clown and performs feats never seen by mortal man. Have some fun with your circus clown. Mm -hmm.